I keep driving by these big, beautiful horseweed right here, and I've just got to stop and harvest some. We'll break this off. And down to about right here. That'll allow for some, that'll allow for some shrinkage. And that diameter there should be right after it dries. Let's get this one too. There's a mullein. Can you see it? I can barely see through my viewfinder with the sun. Let's cut off about three, four inches off the ragged ends. And I want it about as long as my forearm to the end of my middle finger. throw away. Now, I like to wait for these leaves to completely dry up like they have on this one before I rake them off because that'll leave little sharp leaf nubs. Can you see all those little leaf nubs on there? Those will bite into the hand and give me really good grip. And these are still green, so we'll go ahead and lay them in the back glass of the Camry for about three days, and then we'll go ahead and try them out. All right, if you watched my last video, you know that I'm fresh out of hand drill fireboards, and I had to use that piece of two by six. Here's a piece of tulip poplar that I picked up uh, yesterday, I believe. It's been in my trunk. Now, a lot of this is too soft to use for fireboard, but in within this branch, there's gonna be some suitable fireboards for hand drill. Let's try it out. We'll save that. All right. Most of that branch ended up on the ground. It was too hard, but I found this nice piece here. This is plenty soft enough. Passes the thumbnail test. And I just got back from my walk, and on that walk I found some more material that should be good for hand drill fireboards. This is a piece of water oak. It's got a lot of punk on the outside, but it should have some good material on the inside. This wood, and you can tell by the spalting, is the perfect density for a hand drill fireboard. That was a good choice to get that piece of water oak this morning. And I've got five other pieces over there that will make just as good a fireboard as this. Let's put this in the back glass of the Camry, and we'll let it be drying out, and we'll try it in a couple of days. All right, I've been looking forward to this day. First horseweed spindles of the year. Uh, here's that first fireboard that we looked at and it passes the thumbnail test and the other fireboard and two really good spindles horseweed spindles they're about 18 and a half inches long let's give them a try Go ahead and make a divot and we'll do a burn in.
good. Yeah, this board feels like it's the right density. The tulip poplar board was way too hard. And then there were parts on it that were way too soft, so this water oak fireboard is going to be good. I can tell by the way it cut and the burn in and all. And pump a little hot air back down into the dust pile. It's slowly growing. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Here's the tulip poplar fireboard. It is no good at all. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away, burn it up. But I do have two really good horse sweet spindles and this water oak fireboard. Good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one.